The movie opens with Zhang Pang Su, a notorious gangster and the leader of the Han Ho business empire. He enjoys a life of luxury alongside his wife, Xiao Yan, who happens to be the daughter of Mr. Han. Zhang's marriage to her was a calculated move aimed at seizing control of her father's considerable wealth. One day, Zhang observes some construction work in his company's building before deciding to grab a bowl of ramen at a nearby shop. Across from him sits a chubby high schooler named Kim Dong, who is enjoying his noodles. Unfortunately, Zhang doesn't like the food, so he quickly settles the bill. Meanwhile, Dong realizes that he's forgotten his wallet, so he informs the shop owner that he can't pay. Surprisingly, the owner allows him to leave, saying the generous Zhang will cover it. The latter is enraged at the decision, but he hands her the money anyway. To his surprise, Dong has finished off four bowls of noodles. After settling the bill, Zhang heads home but encounters an obstruction on the road, a dump truck blocking his path. Meanwhile, Dong finds himself on a rooftop's edge, attempting to retrieve his shoe. In a sudden mishap, he loses his footing and plunges from the building. He lands directly onto Zhang, who coincidentally is on call with a colleague beneath the same building. The movie then cuts to the hospital, where we see Zhang lying unconscious on his bed. A nurse checks on him and calls him a kid. After he wakes up, he walks out of the room while Dong is still in a coma. Strangely, everyone addresses him as Kid, or by Dong's name. Zhang then goes into another room, where he encounters someone looking exactly like him. At the same time, Dong's dad arrives there and addresses Zhang as son. Confused and overwhelmed, Zhang hurries to the nearest mirror and discovers that he has inexplicably swapped bodies with Dong. He tries to tell the others about his predicament, but no one believes him. To make matters worse, the doctor also states that he's suffering from retrograde amnesia. Now, with little hope of reclaiming his original form, Zhang reluctantly embraces his life as Dong and accompanies the high schooler's father back home. He's welcomed with an array of dishes and other delicacies. Zhang asks if anyone's going to join him, but he soon consumes all the dishes, leaving no leftovers behind. The next day, Zhang goes to Dong's high school, where he comes across a group of students behaving oddly around him. During lunchtime, Dong's friend Hyun becomes the target of bullies. Zhang doesn't like this, so he intervenes and asks them to stop their actions. But this only infuriates the leader of the bullies, Tai Wook, and he challenges Zhang to a fight after school. As our hero is a gangster, he is unfazed by such fights, so he confidently meets the gang after school. He then slaps each and every one of them before snatching away Tai Wook's phone as a punishment. At night, Zhang examines the bully's phone and discovers a video showing how Dong was forced to walk on the edge of a building, leading to his fall. This enrages Zhang, so he decides to take action. The next day at school, he confronts the bully group, warning them not to bother any student again. He also uses the video to blackmail them into compliance. On the other hand, we learn that Zhang's wife, Yun, is actually having an extramarital affair. She's sure that her husband won't find out because he's in a coma. Unfortunately for her, she's caught red-handed by Zhang's rival, Boss Yang. This guy then blackmails her to help him ruin Zhang's career. Having no other choice, Yan joins hands with Yang and starts preparing to take her own husband down. At the same time, Zhang visits his assistant, Chul, who's actually looking after his boss's body, assuming that he's in a coma. Zhang tries to make him believe that he's actually his boss, but the latter thinks it's a joke. Hence, Zhang decides to tell him some secrets that only his boss would know. This trick works, and Chul is now convinced that Zhang is in Dong's body. As the two catch up on the recent news, Zhang also learns that his wife is planning to kill him. The next day, Hyun collides with Zhang after school and drops her pink stuffed toy. Zhang picks it up, chases her for a while, and returns it. Right then, Hyun's mother, Mi Sun, also arrives there to take her daughter home. As soon as Zhang sees Mi Sun, he is shocked because she's the one who he dumped to marry Yan. Zhang then immediately runs away from there and wonders if Hyun is his daughter. To clear the confusion, 
He pulls some hair from Hyun's head in their next meeting and decides to run a DNA test on it. To his utter shock, the DNA report comes out positive, and it becomes evident that Hyun is his actual daughter. After getting this info, Jung becomes sad because he thinks that he couldn't be a good father and a caring husband. Frustrated, he meets Chul and asks for some suggestions to make his estranged family happy. The assistant suggests he work on his body and lose some fat. Chul also asks his boss to invite Hyun to some fitness sessions. In the next scene, Hyun arrives at the gym and joins Jiang for a workout session. At first, she doesn't like the place, but later, Chul, disguised as the trainer, convinces her and brings her back. He then teaches her self-defense, while Jung is working on reducing his body fat. After working hard for a couple of months, Hyun becomes an expert in self-defense, and Jung also turns himself into a handsome boy, surprising everyone in school, even the bullies, with his new looks. During lunchtime, a girl from the bullies group tries to harass Hyun. But to her surprise, Hyun displays some impressive karate moves and knocks her to the ground. Everyone around is surprised to see such skills and confidence in Hyun. After learning that Dong, aka Jang, has taught her daughter self-defense skills, Mi Sun calls him to her shop and offers him a bowl of ramen as a sign of gratitude. Just then, a perverted customer calls Mi Sun to his table and slaps her. This obviously enrages Jang. So he walks to the man and starts beating him. Mi Sun quickly stops him and suspects that his words and actions are similar to that of her ex boyfriends. Later, Jang sits her down and reveals that he is actually Jang, who has swapped bodies with Dong. At first, Mi Sun refuses to believe him, but when he starts telling her about the times when they were together, she is bound to believe. Despite this, Mi Sun is still angry at him for leaving her alone when she needed him the most. Hence, she asks him to never come back again. The next day, while Hyun and Jiang are sitting together at school, a student council member, Min Ho, approaches Hyun and invites her to his birthday party. Without thinking twice, she instantly accepts the invitation, unbeknownst to Min Ho's actual intentions. Later, Zhang meets Mi Sun at a restaurant and apologizes for his actions. The latter is still angry and decides to leave. But just then, Zhang grabs her and kisses her on the lips, surprising everyone in the restaurant. This enrages Mi Sun, and she drags Zhang out of the restaurant, aiming to take him to the police. Midway, Zhang gets a call from Dong's friend, who tells him that Hyun is in deep trouble. He then immediately leaves Mi Sun contacts Chul, and asks him to send a car for him. In the following scene, Jong arrives at Min Ho's birthday party and notices Hyun being surrounded by a group of boys, and Min Ho pouring a glass of wine on her. Seeing this, Jong approaches the boys and starts fighting them, taking a stand for Hyun. All the girls present there fall for Jong's masculinity, having no idea that he's actually a gangster. Hyun also joins Jiang and kicks Min Ho into the pool, before walking out from the party. The next day, Chul meets his boss and informs him that Yan is actually conspiring with his rival, Mr. Yang. They're now trying their best to remove Jiang from the list of potential heirs of the company. Hearing this, Jiang immediately writes a letter to Mr. Han, mentioning that he is the victim of conspiracy. He then sends Chul to deliver it to his boss. On the other hand, Dong finally wakes up from his coma, oblivious to the fact that he's in a gangster's body. Later, he reaches home and tries to hug his father, Zhang Qi. The latter is obviously puzzled, and he nearly calls the police. But before he can do so, Zhang also arrives there and explains everything to them. Hearing this, Dong agrees to help Zhang get back with Mi Sun and makes a plan. The following day, the two arrive at Mi Sun's shop and pretend they're back to normal. However, before they can finish their conversation, Mr. Yang and his subordinates arrive there. Zhang immediately sends Dong and Mi Sun to the other room and starts fighting all the gangsters alone. But when Mi Sun notices that Zhang is outnumbered, she joins the fight and threatens the group to leave her shop by causing a leak in the gas cylinder. Afraid, the gangsters flee, and Zhang finally reconciles with his ex-girlfriend. 
Elsewhere, Mr. Han calls Yan to his office and reveals that he's well aware of her extramarital affair and her conspiracy against her own husband. Hence, to teach her a lesson, he disowns her and removes her from the list of his successors. He then calls Zhang and asks him to meet him soon. However, since Zhang remains trapped in a child's body, he implants a microchip in Dong's ears and sends him to the meeting. Unfortunately, the microchip soon malfunctions, and when Mr. Han inquires about his second family, Dong has to improvise himself. He explains that he now understands the importance of family and desires to spend the remainder of his life with them. Additionally, he voluntarily removes himself from the list of successors to the Han Ho group, expressing a wish for a contented life. Surprisingly, Mr. Han respects his decision and allows him to depart. Outside, Zhang expresses gratitude to Dong for making a wise choice. While they embrace, Yan suddenly arrives in her car and hits Zhang, causing severe injuries. Later at the hospital, as Zhang is talking to his friends, Dong suddenly collapses. Zhang is then taken to the operating room, and he ends up losing consciousness as well. Following this, the story jumps ahead six months. Dong is back in his own body at school, now respected and admired by his peers. It's revealed that he and Hyun have finally started dating, and they've become the new power couple at school. Life is finally on track for Dong, who was once regarded as a loser and bullied by everyone. As for Jang, he's also a changed man, and he no longer threatens people for a living. The movie ends as we see him assisting Mi Sun in her new restaurant business.